What is going on guys? It's your boy Sister here. Bring us in a Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to teach you guys some cool texture streak highlight designs. I'm not quite sure I want to tell this video of course, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be applying these cool little textures, these cool little streak designs, and just overall these little sock designs to a Twitter header, to a very nice professional looking Twitter header. Uh, why not? So of course you can see right here, this looks very very clean, very very simple of course, and just messing around with these little socks, these only three little socks is what's creating this banner and making it look very like almost like minuscule but it just minimum work done it just looks very very good with these little like little streaks and highlights and such so you probably see this around with other people's designs and such and it's actually very very simple to do very easy to do you can use some distorts you can fully uh, think it through on your own by, without using any distorts just using shapes themselves so of course I'm gonna teach you how to do that as well I'm gonna do I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually make this very nice clean looking background uh, uh, backing to this little Twitter header I have here so if I didn't say before I'm gonna be using these stocks here and actually just applying them to a Twitter header um, so of course you guys didn't know my experience pack did come out and release on Tuesday So it's been out for what five days now six days including the day you're watching this video right now So with that being said this experience pack is actually very very cool Don't get it mixed up with my everything pack what the experience pack is it's just a personal Photoshop uh, PSD where you get these socks things like this right here actually this one's in my uh, my my experience pack and as well as these little cascading lines around my experience pack so you can use these things actually use on your own designs and for it's only ten dollars and right now it comes with a very nice good amount of things in the st uh, the pack already I'll put this link down uh, down below in the description below if down below in the description below I'll put this down below if you guys want to uh, click on it and purchase it on your own um, ten dollars like I said and it will update regularly so you get some new stocks every now and then so you guys can use them on your design so with that being said let's get going so 200 likes on this video you can see it down below so don't forget to like the video all that cool stuff boom intro done let's get going to the tutorial all right so on this header I want to show you guys how I did this little very nice background here this little backing um, what I mean is like without the stocks here just this very nice simple multi-tone colored uh, backing here so on this Twitter he uh, Twitter header uh, the template for this by the way or the dimensions for this is as followed Twitter header is 1500 by 500 pixels with 200 resolution and that's, once you have that, you just press OK and you're good to go. So, with that being said, let's make a new layer right now above this like a video layer. You know, just like the video. Um, so, with this is, you just it's very, very simple. So, what we're going to do here, we're going we're gonna to find a nice color here. We'll use the same color, like this little, like little teal right here. And then when you change your foreground color, all you got to do is hold Alt and Backspace. And then once you've done this, we make a new layer. And we go to our brush here. And we're going to change our uh, background color now to white. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna hold Control Alt right click to make our brush a little bit bigger. And then we're just gonna click with this white a couple times here. And for whatever reason, if you don't know, if you have like a little uh, cross uh, hatch mark here, you just have your cap locks on. So just turn that off by just holding cap locks again or uh, clicking caps lock again. And then once you have this here, I click twice here, one over here, top left, bottom right. However you want to click, you can click over here, over here, whatever it may be. Once you've done that, you just change this to overlay, the style overlay. And then already, already used, you get this very nice clean looking color where it has this very nice gradient with it. So you will not be able to get this color unless the primary color that you chose on the bottom layer was a very nice dark color. Um, do not choose any vibrant colors. When I say vibrant colors, I don't mean like your typical pink, you know, yellow. I don't mean like that. I mean, don't choose colors that have a lot of saturation to them. Choose some that have like very low saturation, like something like down here, not up here. Because if I try to click over here, you'll see when I uh, just overlap this color now with this, you can see it's very, very bright. Now, if you're going for something like this, and then so be it. But if you're looking for something that's very nice and clean, professional, and doesn't have like hurt your eyes at all, use a darker color and then apply the uh, the overlay texture, which is this right here with the lights. And then so on and so forth. You can add any CCs later on if you guys wish to. Now, with that being said, over this new layer, we're going to make another new layer. And we're going to use a blue or green or whatever color comes to mind. Yeah, let's just use green. And we're just going to apply this up here. And we're going to apply some down here as well. Why not? And then we're just going to put this on luminosity because I already know that right now luminosity makes my thing some uh, this this green darker, which gives my tone a very nice look to this right now. So I have a nice little uh, light color over here, one medium tone in the middle here, and then dark colors on the sides. Now with that being said, that's not done yet because over here I have multiple colors and it looks very nice and warm, like a warm feeling to it. So what I did was you go to your little half circle down here, your adjustments layer, and then we go to solid color, and we're just going to change it to purple. And we're gonna put this to soft light. And then there you go. That's just simply we just overlaid this very nice dark purple 
or whatever it may be, contrary colors, whatever it may be, just put them onto each other, or put this on overlay, and then just loop the opacity just a little bit, and then you get this nice little multicolor look, and we can even put a curve on it. Why not? Just to make it pop out just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty dang good. Cool. So, with that, I'm going to shift-click these layers together. So, shift-click on the top, or uh, click on the top layer, shift-click, click on the bottom layer, control J, uh, G, and we're going to just call this background. So, now we're done with the background, and we're ready to just continue on actually making the stocks now. So, of course, it just comes together. At the, at, at the end of the day, of course, at the end of this tutorial, you're going to be actually experimenting a lot with your own stocks or creating your own stock. So I want to show you guys how I would go about making things like this and go, go about making things like these cascading lines. You, and, and once you figure it out, you will be able to actually memorize what things do and then of course you combine them and you'll get these very nice control looking stocks. So you get things like this, things like the cascading lines, things like these little burn effects. So that being said, I'm going to show you guys like the three multiple things I use the most. All right, so in a new on a new dimension, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use, um, what is it, 1980 by 1080p pixels, uh, 200 resolution. On a new layer, we're gonna hold or go to the uh, elliptical tool, and we're gonna make a circle here. I'm gonna make a nice little skinnier, like oval shape here. I'm gonna make sure that our foreground color is completely black, and we're gonna hold Alt and Backspace. That quick fills our selection here, and then Control D or right click deselect will get rid of the little marquee tools tracings. So with that being said, we're gonna change our opacity now to about 20%. Now, this is the, the only thing you gotta actually remember, is just lowering your opacity down with the shape that you create. You can create shapes with your pen tool, you can make some really weird shapes, uh, shrink them down to like a little triangle size, like or a rectangle size like this, and then start applying some of the things we're gonna be applying soon. So, make sure you understand that you can do absolutely anything to get these little textures and stocks. That's what stocks is all about, just figuring things out, just applying them the same way to other different things and then you get a very nice style going so with that being said of course with this new layer this little uh, oval shape here with a 20 opacity we're gonna keep duplicating the layer now so without holding control J because that's how you duplicate layer with a with a uh, shortcut rather rather than a right click duplicating layer um, you can just hold alt and then just simply on your new layer you click on it you hold alt on the uh, screen here you just simply a left click and then just drag so once you've done that it duplicates the layer itself so if you guys didn't know that already there you go so we're just gonna keep on just duplicating it and then if you guys understand yet why we lowered our opacity you can probably see it now uh, here's 20% here would be 20% as well and then these two combine will equal 40% this is 60% so on and so forth you can see that we're just overlaying these textures together so we get a very nice cool little look to it <coughs> excuse me all right so Let's just say we don't have to actually keep all these uh, layers the same exact size either. We can make them bigger. Why not, right? So just make it a little bit bigger. Why not? And then we get something like this. So with that right now, we're going to shift click on the top layer, shift click on the bottom layer, control G to, uh, to group them together, control J to duplicate them, and then control E to merge them. So a little nice little shortcut tip right there. <clears throat> Now with this, this can look something different than yours. It can be whatever. You guys can actually move the, the, the circles in different directions if you guys wish to. Do something different. Do whatever you guys want to do. But I'm just showing you guys how to go about it. Of course, with these circles here, I use these three things, which will be liquify, which how I push pixels together and actually how I get this little shape right here. I just liquify in a very nice, smooth way. Now with that being said, I can use liquify. I can use a sort uh, ripple, wave, zigzag and twirl those three combined will get you something like this with these little burn effects i'm not going to go through it exactly but i'm going to show you guys something with the, with the liquify right now and as well by the way as a sort shear now what shear is it's kind of like a liquify not really it's kind of like pushing pixels in a very firm matter i'm not quite sure how i want to explain this but what shear is um by the way your shear will not have what my graph looks like right now yours will only have a, a uh, like a little point these little points one at the top one at the bottom I'm not sure how to like go back on shear. So once you apply a shear to a stock, and what shear does, you can see down here, it just pushes these like little pixels in a different way. Um, what shear does, I'm not quite sure how to go back on it. You can't delete it. It will look like this, and the the until you like reopen Photoshop. I'm not quite sure how to go back. So if anyone does know how to go back, please let me know. But with that being said, shear will give you these really cool. Um, it's almost like it really is just a more controlled. Um, twisting, making your shape look a little bit different. So, with that being said, you can go about it like this. 
and press OK. Why not? So we get shapes like, shapes like this. Just just pushing your pixels different uh, different sides of the the uh, the dimensions right here, or the, excuse me, the the what is this called? The plane? Oh my goodness! I like blanked out for a second. But things like this, you can do something like that. We can use liquify as well. So I can just like push the pixels like this, and I'm using the top uh, tool, which is the forward wrap tool, and then we're just gonna figure out what we like here. Boom. Something like this, just a nice simple little streak here. I just did that. Now you can also Control Z, Control Alt Z to go back multiple times in Liquify. So with that being said, I like this right here though. I'm gonna press OK, and I want to make sure I get this right here. So I'm gonna put this actually in my Twitter header start little thing here, and I'm gonna lower the opacity down just a little bit. And I like what that I got there. So I'm gonna keep that one there. I do like what that that is. All right, cool. So with that being said, um. Other things as well can be done. Like I said, if you use a sort twirl, so if you just go back a little bit, move back, you can get more of a twirl look to it. And you see here, now we have this like cool little thing right here, which actually looks pretty darn cool. Let's see if we apply that to over here as well. Um, that does not look bad at all. It looks just, it looks cool. And you can see here, you get some little bit of tearing or a little bit of a distortion over here. It's if you just push your pixels too far, so try not to do that. It's very easy not to do it, so just look for it, and you can see, like, I have to go back and fix it and not do it so much. With that being said, do something like that. Doesn't look too bad, of course. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just combining different things together, but the main thing is is using uh, either Shear, Liquify, Twirl, and maybe even Zigzag and Wave. Now, Wave itself, like I said, gives you the fact that you can do something like, uh, I'll press OK, uh, more of a wave and a ripple. Let's just say medium. Let's go back a little bit. You can get stuff like this. This was done with more circles in a very compact way, and it was like actually almost like a full complete circle. And I just did wave and shear, and I got the uh, the effect that I have over here. So with that being said, that's what that is. Um, as well as using circles, you can use rectangles. And by the way, how I got these cascading lines is just using circles again, and just using bigger circles though. All backspace, Control D, lower these opacity. And just simply enough duplicating it like so. And make, let's just make this one bigger, why not? <coughs> and then I'm gonna shift click, control E, and then we can go just go to liquify. And we can push it up like so. Oops, with a bigger brush, let's say like 1200. And like we just push it up, and we just figure it out how we think we like it. And these little cascading lines will just be done, and you can just simply enough get them looking good, and like so. Well, that does not look that bad at all, actually. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. But before we go into it too far, I want to show you guys that you can also use um, these things without actually making any or adjustments with the the filters. Um, with that being said, you can use things like the simple circle again. I'm going to show you with the circles one more time. And you can just simply go like this. Don't be afraid to not use uh, filters. Um, 20. Let me go here. Let me just go something like that. Now let me just keep on going, and let's just say that's what we have right now. Um, mm -hmm, sure, and then we just control E these together, and then if we bring this in here as well, don't be afraid not to use uh, filters because without this, just this alone will give your your banner or your header or your design just a little nice feel and a nice little highlight texture in the background. Actually, it'll work. It'll work. It does work. You look at it, it looks good. And with that being said, you can use rectangles now. Now the rectangle part is how you get more of like uh, the streak looking designs. So if I just did something like this, Alt Backspace, Control D, and then lower my opacity down, you'll get the hang of that pretty soon if you guys don't already. Um, let's just a little bigger. Things like this. Now rectangles are cool because we can just duplicate them like so, holding a uh, uh, Shift and then holding Alt clicking and then dragging. We get things where we can have things like this. Now, like I said before, don't be afraid to not use any uh, distortions or whatever. Because if I did this, if I just shrink this now a little bit, move this over a little bit, like so. We can get streaks that look like this, which looks perfectly fine themselves. And then we can apply them in a very cool little diagonal way, maybe. And then call that nice little highlight stock there, of course. So don't be afraid not to use things like that. But again, like I said, you can use the 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 liquify, the distortions, and hmm, get some cool little 
things. And of course, I'll, actually the blow tool, which is which is the the bloat tool. If we just clicked, you can get some cool little in and out little technique things. Uh, you can look like it going uh, popping out a little bit, going in, popping out, going in. These look pretty cool as well. So don't be afraid to do that. Use different uh, sh shapes and such, or different excuse me, different tools in um, liquify themselves or any other cool little thing you have. That looks cool. Why not? You can see that there. And then just applying them. In a very cool little way and then on the top of this little header here I'm just gonna finish it off with a circle and then a nice little shot right there boom there we go so of course when you figure things out you'll get things that are more controlled like this and like it's just very, it's just practicing I can't teach you how to practice that's I'm just showing you guys what the things you can use and then you guys have to practice it and figure things out on your own as well so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like comment down below any little little tutorials you want to see me do if you purchase my uh, experience pack don't forget to tweet me at SessoHQ for any cool little follow if I'll, I'll follow you all that cool stuff I'll, I will do that if you just ask it's all good why not if you support me I'm gonna help you out as well so you can answer some questions and DMs um so yeah don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SessoHQ don't forget to check out my Selfie Selfie.com for SessoHQ for any pre-mades and packs that are very cool some as low as five dollars some as low as ten dollars like my cool new experience pack that most of actually a lot of my things in my self i store do get updated regularly so you will be actually getting a lot for your money so don't forget about that and uh just overall thank you guys so much so 20 what is it 200 likes on the video because down below i almost said 20 but whatever it may be it's just a little giveaway for me to you for helping me out and liking the video so thank you guys so much again for watching thank you guys so much for almost 36k subscribers that is pretty freaking sweet like it's freaking sick, man. Almost said almost, what, 40K? That's going to be insane. I very, I'm very, very happy. So I'm very excited for today. I'm enjoying my day so far. It's only freaking 10 a.m., but I'm enjoying my day. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day as well. Thank you guys so much. Let's switch you out. Peace.